long shot, but it had to happen. I didn't know he was there. You didn't hear him? No, I heard him. But I was watching him pace back and forth, and I'm like, God dang, come out. He's just sitting there going, Doom. You could hear him drumming. And then finally, I catch him strutting, right? He's just going back and forth behind. Did you guys see the hens come out? Oh, so four hens and a jake. That was what was making that weird yelp that we heard. And then I see him back behind just drumming like crazy. I don't even know how big he is. I just know he's a strutter with a beard. And I went, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Huh. Must have flopped his fan off. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Whoa. Nobody ever shot a half-tailed turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad though. He's got a big old beard on him. Oh, yeah, I got whipped. <gasps> this tick still on that. Call it Curtis. We hear a bird down in the canyon. Another bird up this way. Uh, no shortage of gobblers. Bush league. Bush league. Sounds like amateur hour to me. So should we split up? Should we keep the same team configuration or should we split up Eric and Curtis? I don't want the dream team anymore. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're not feeling guilty. Yeah. I don't feel guilty anyway. <laughs> I've never felt guilty. <laughs> no, guilt not, no, not never. <laughs> <laughs> what is this feeling you speak of? I think you just realize if we come back with four turkeys, we're down. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, day two. Um, I'm tagged out carrying a shotgun with Jason. We're gonna head up this hill and go into Upper Turkey Valley. Secret little stash these guys found yesterday. Yeah, we saw quite a few turkeys yesterday. They were pretty responsive. I saw even more that weren't uh, calling back to us, but uh, it's a new day. There's no more rain. I think we got a good reset. And any turkeys that may have been hampered yesterday by the rain should be popping today, or at least we're hoping so. Dream team today. That's right. Eric, Curtis, and moi. That's right. Heading out there.
Oh, yeah. It's good. It's tricky, All right. Dude, you dicking around with Karen. Glass that bird up. Day two. So it's uh, nearly one o'clock, and we haven't heard a bird since the morning. And uh, we took a little nap, and we're walking around to see where we can find some toms headed back up to Upper Turkey Valley. And we have not heard anything, but we spotted two toms right down here. Um, they're not making any noises. So we're gonna try to make a play on them, lose some elevation, meet them at their elevation, cut right over, uh, see if we can call them in. The birds are just really quiet today. We haven't heard anything since this morning and we haven't really had a nice setup on some birds and trying to calm in since the first time this morning. So it's been a pretty weird day. It seems like uh, the birds that we have seen this afternoon are using little pinch points, like little road intersections, timber to timber. And they scare it out for just a minute and then they hunk her back in. So yeah, it's very kind of hard to kill them when you can't hear them.
That's why I love coming to Turkey Valley, dude. There's so many so options. Many options. <laughs> There's so many options. There's too many options. <laughs> what are we eating for lunch today, Crawford? A little tuna, man. A little tuna, same yeah. thing as yesterday. Same thing. You're predictable. That's what I like about you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Looks disgusting, but I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> And we had some hot gobbler action there. But they were on the other side of this creek, this drainage. And then we just watched them strut over there back and forth, just peacocking. They did not want to bite, which we didn't really expect them to. Come flying across the creek bottom, but you never know. Well, now it's about one o'clock. Kind of getting a little late in the day for turkey action, but we're gonna We'll work our way back towards camp, see if we can't find another bird. Now holding that. Oh. Dude. <laughs> Woo! Oh. oh my god. I couldn't see him for the longest time, oh, but I could like feel them strutting. I had him coming in all the way. Dude. That little white and red <laughs> head filled up the rear peep. I was like, that's it, baby. <laughs> nice work. Yeah, dude. Let's go look at those bad boys. Oh I, I Oh my God, look at the head on this thing. <laughs> oh. How you feel, Curtis? Yeah, I'm just glad it worked out, man. That's awesome. We've we been in birds all day, though. Like, oh, yeah. It's fun. That's the first two long beers that have come in. What's that? Oh. Holy shit, there's another buck gobble right there on that ridge. Hey. Yeah, here, look. Oh yeah, sweat. You want to say what happened, Crawford? Well, no, not really. <laughs> you, you got to explain it. So we had already just we had already called in two birds that Curtis and Brad shot. And in the meantime of getting them processed, we heard another bird gobbling. How far away? It sounded like it was a little bit away, but um, we oh. came two little rolly ridges about over. Maybe 75 yards, 80 yards, 100 yards. Oh, from where you guys shot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we are, yeah, 100 yards from where two birds just died. And then set back up and worked this bird for quite a while. Curtis and Brad double teamed them. And finally, I don't know, did you see the hen come through? 
Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I saw her. I saw a hen come through, and then this tom dropped off. There's a roadbed up here. Dropped off, um, all in full strut, gobbled several times. And then he was right here, and I had to wait for him to clear a red stem. And then he finally did, and I let him have it. But it appears that I uh, missed or didn't make a good shot. Uh, Join the club. Yeah. It's taking you a while to get in your life to <laughs> <a> turkey. <laughs> yeah. It happens to everybody. Yeah. So um, we were just looking for him, and I don't even see feathers now that were standing in the. So you get for borrowing, borrowing somebody else's gun. Yeah. To I shoot. wasn't packing my gun today. I was doing the camera work. See ya. Hey, you can Brian just drop me off. I gotta find my way to get up here. It's steep. But there are turkey tracks in the sand here. I like seeing that. I think the spot probably hasn't been hit by turkey hunters. It hasn't been hit by us. I'm guessing anybody else is kind of an unassuming spot. Let's see if we can find anything over here. 